Hey, hey, children, of the sun. This is a tarot reading for Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising for the month of October. Hope you guys are doing well. Um, this month, or the month of October, is going to be Universal Month 7, so focus on planning. You're very good at that, Capricorn. Uh, planning and um, try not to overdo it. Mars will be going retrograde near the end of the month, but Saturn, your ruling sign, is going direct, so that's going to help boost your energy up. But um, let's go to the tarot cards real quick. I'm going to pull an oracle card just to kind of get the overall message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. If you need a personal reading, please let me know. Uh, you can book it on the links in the description. Okay, Capricorn. Take note of intuitive messages. Use your intuition. Um, this this month will be very strongly controlled by the moon in the moon um, moments. So very interesting for that card. I'm going to get a little bit of clarity with it. Take note of intuitive messages. So let's pull a moon card. I haven't done this for everyone, but only because that's a moon card. Let's see what the moon message is for Capricorn for the month. You guys get a little bonus. Ooh. Moon cards can be so just mysterious. All right. So the moon card that clarifies this moon card is the Aries moon. This It's time to take action, which is really interesting. Now, this says new moon in Aries. Now, when we go into Libra, we'll actually have a full moon in Aries. So I feel like something very important will be happening to Capricorns near the full moon in Aries. So please take note, but you will need to start something and take action on that. So we had two cards here. One was the moon. Take note of your intuitive messages. So the moon will be affecting you very strongly this month. And then we have the Aries uh, card for Aries Oracle card, which says advises you to take action. So let's get some uh, cards to see what you need to be taking action for for the month of October, which is really weird. Most everyone is kind of chilling out. So Capricorn, I think it's because basically you've been uh, already chilling. <laughs> well, you've been trying to do stuff and that has been kind of working. It's kind of like working uphill because Saturn's been retrograde. But I guess you need to take action now. The Knight of Swords pops out and it's saying things are going to be moving fast for you. I think things are going to start speeding up for you. Mercury is going direct. Let's pull a couple more cards. All right. So we have, you're going to be taking action. You got the Nine of Wands. It talks about you being, um, basically, the Nine of Wands here. This has been a time where you've been kind of like laying low a little bit. Um, trying to uh, get your healing and make sure that focus is there we go. You've been trying to get your healing, Capricorn. You've been kind of on a retreat a little bit. Things, you've been, this is the Wounded Warrior. Okay, you've gone through things, you've been trying to figure things out. Okay, taking action on the past, things have been moving fast, and you're just trying to get things going. The Five of Swords reversed. It's saying also be careful about um, what I would say with the Five of Swords reversed. This is about <clears throat> losing a battle, uh, competing with others, and losing a battle. So be careful with that energy. I want to. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is going to be a really fast month for you. Really fast month. Um, I want to clarify that energy real quick because it wants you to take action, but then at the future card, it says the Five of Swords, uh, which really is, talks about losing a battle, but you've already been like really working hard and working fast. So let's clarify that Five of Swords here. Oh, the Princess of Swords. There's a lot of mind energy here. I feel like <clears throat> in the Two of Cups, I feel like you may have had a losing battle with someone. All right. Maybe you were on the losing end. Let's get that clear a little bit. I want to focus. There we go. You may have lost a battle, but you've learned a lot. Okay. So Capricorn, this is actually an encouragement card. You may have lost 
or been on the losing end with someone, but you've learned so much. So what have you learned from the lessons that you've been going through? Saturn's been hitting you hard. What have you learned, Capricorn, from the things that have failed? What have you learned from your failures? It's time to take action on that, okay? So it's getting really clear to me. I think it's an emotional month. It's going to be a very fast month for you. You're going to be moving very quickly. But now you've licked your wounds, and it's time to, to uh, start working toward what you've learned since that, okay, since the past, all right? So it's okay that you've been through some negative times. Capricorn, I know for sure you guys have been going through some negative times, but now is the time, like I said, just to take action on something. You've learned a lesson. Now use those lessons to move forward. If you need a personal reading, please let me know. Uh, we can get some more clarity on your situation. But like I said, you're in control right now. You're in total control of your reality. It's been hard for you, Capricorn, I understand, but you're used to hard work. You're used to it. Now is the time to take those lessons that you learned and apply it to your future, all right? All right, that's the reading I have for you guys. Oh, let me get you an Oracle card. One quick Oracle card here. I don't wanna leave you just hanging like that, right? What's your focus should be? <laughs> Almost forgot. I was pulled so many cards for you, but like I said, I didn't have a lot of clarity, so I wanna make sure you got clarity. All right, I really believe that with this, the giver card, you're gonna be given a blessing. I feel like karmic action, Saturn, when Saturn goes direct, you've been, you've been um, going through so much that you're about to be blessed now. You're about to be blessed. So accept it that you receive the karmic reward that you're about to get for all the hard work and the damages that you've been going through and the people that have been doing you wrong. You're going to learn why you went through that. And you're about to get a blessing with this giving card. Because I feel like karma is about to come full circle. And Libra is kind of like karma. So because it's got the balance. So things are about to balance themselves out. All right. I hope that helps you out. Remember to make your reality happen. Because if you don't do it, then it will. Talk to you guys later.